What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another The Mandalorian video if you're new. Now, this is going to be the review and recap for The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 2. If you're a fan of The Mandalorian, if you love The Mandalorian, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on The Mandalorian, you get them. Now, this episode is Chapter 10, The Passenger, and the description for this episode reads, The Mandalorian must ferry a passenger with precious cargo on a risky journey. Now, I love every single thing that's Star Wars related. If there's a movie out that's Star Wars, if there's a TV show out that's Star Wars, I'm interested because this is one of my favorite franchises, one of my favorite series of all time. I literally love Star Wars with everything in me. And if I was doing reviews and recaps a long time ago, you know, I would have been doing Star Wars content. But unfortunately, The Mandalorian Season 2 is the first of Star Wars content on my channel. Because, like I said before to you guys, I just started doing content earlier this year. But I thought this was a solid episode. I thought the first episode was a lot better, but this episode was still solid. You know, the first episode was so good. I thought it was a great premiere. It was good coming back into The Mandalorian, you know, after having such a long break. It was like a whole year. And then we came into season two with the action packed episode. And this episode was pretty action packed, too. Just not as much as the first one. And Yoda was crazy in this episode. Baby Yoda was getting into all types of stuff. Now, following the jaw-dropping premiere episode last week, Disney Plus's The Mandalorian has returned for another chapter in this bounty hunter's journey to discover the secrets behind the adorable child, Baby Yoda. Now, while riding through the desert following the defeat of the Craft Dragon in the season premiere, Mando is suddenly ambushed by a group of bounty hunters. You know, they're trying to always steal Baby Yoda. Everybody always wants Baby Yoda. You know, he's the prize possession. They crash his speeder bike with a booby trap and attempt to take Yoda with them. After suffering some shots to his armor and fighting off the others, one of the three holds a knife to Yoda's throat, telling Mando to trade his jetpack for the child's safety. Only instead, he remote controls it as the hunter runs away, and that causes the hunter to fly up in the air and fly back down as the jetpack comes back to Mando. Now with all the enemies defeated and no mode of transportation left to carry all the supplies, Mando starts walking through the desert and eventually arriving back in town at night. Mando enters the most Isley Cantina to meet up with Pelimoto. She claims she can help him in his journey and she sends a contact to meet with Mando at the hangar to lead him to other Mandalorians. He's been looking for other Mandalorians for the longest. Now back at the hangar, Peli and her droid workers are cooking up some of the Craft Dragon meat using an old pod engine. And they discuss that a Mandalorian is somewhere in the nearby planet sector. Now the contact wants no money for leading Mando to the Mandalorians, but the request in exchange for the information is to travel with Mando to the system without using the hyperdrive. And Mando is against that, but the contact turns out to be a frog lady who is looking to transport her eggs so they may be fertilized by the Equinox to keep her family alive. And if Mando uses the hyperdrive, it will kill the eggs. So they will be traveling to meet her husband somewhere. Now, not long after they leave Peli's hangar, Yoda seems incredibly curious about the frog lady's tank of eggs. And it was super funny because Yoda was just getting into stuff. He was eating eggs. And as Mando heads downstairs into the rack of the ship to get some rest while the ship autopilots to the planet that they're heading to, Baby Yoda has some true curiosity with the eggs. You know, he's hungry, I guess. He starts grabbing eggs to eat, and Mando isn't quick enough to stop him from eating one, but he grabs it and seals the tank before Yoda can eat any more. Now, Mando is awoken in the middle of his sleep from an alarm throughout the ship, and he returns to the cockpit in time as two ships pull up alongside him with pilots 
Captain Carson Tiva and Trapper Wolf. And they're questioning why Mando's transponder isn't emitting. Now before they leave, they request that Mando sends them a radar ping so they can ensure he's not an Imperial holdout. And after he fails to convince them the system's not working, they demand he follow them to the outpost of some planet or whatever. Now after sending out a ping that awakens the frog lady, which the two pilots hear in the background, two ships branch out their wings and they're getting ready to do something. And they're asking Mando all types of questions, but instead of answering their questions, Mando chooses to flee into the atmosphere of the nearest planet. Now he goes into the cloud, and Mando loses them just long enough that he kills his engine to fall towards the surface undetected. The pilots still find him and chase him into a nearby icy canyon. Mando flies into a cavern in the middle of the icy canyon and he kinda half parks and then he crashes into a secluded area long enough for them to evade detection. The ship is so heavy that the weight of the ship brings them crashing down and they fall down deep into the canyon. Now they wake up sometime later after the wreck and Mando wakes the unconscious frog lady and heads downstairs to find her some blankets to keep her warm because everybody's freezing, you know, the cold air's coming in and everything and they gotta keep her eggs warm as well. There's a large hole in the ship letting in the snow and it seems that both the eggs and Yoda are missing. While looking around the ship, Mando finds Yoda hidden under a tarp once again trying to eat the eggs. He ate at least one of them and Mando asked how many others he ate. Now the ship is badly damaged and night is approaching, but they're unsure about their prospects and the frog lady tries desperately to get his attention regarding the sensors on her egg tank. She needs to keep these eggs warm. Now, due to the language gap, he's unable to understand what the frog lady's saying. Mando falls asleep with Yoda cuddling up to him and the frog lady notices the remains of the droid and she finds a way to use the system to translate what she's saying and she tells him that eggs are the last of her life cycle and her husband has found the only planet hospitable to their species and they fought too hard and suffered too much to see the extinction of their family line so they want to keep their family alive she tries to appeal to his dedication to the mandalorian code and she wants to honor this agreement that they had so the frog lady wants to help him find a new way to escape now while working on repairs for the ship Yoda visits Mando and tries to get his attention towards something and Mando says to Yoda to try to do something and make himself useful. Now Yoda is disappointed and he walks away leading Mando to follow him where he realizes Yoda was trying to point out that the frog lady has left. Mando follows after the frog lady into the nearby icy caverns. Now using the thermal camera in his helmet Mando is able to track the frog lady to a nearby cavern that has like a hot spring where she's warming herself and her eggs. Now this is when it gets crazy. If you don't like insects, then I highly suggest you turn this episode off at this point. Now, quickly gathering up the eggs before the night comes, Mando stops Yoda from eating any more, to which Yoda wanders off as it notices egg-shaped formations nearby and he opens one of them up to find an unborn spider-like creature. Yoda eats the creature and this causes all of the eggs nearby to begin to hatch. Now leaving the group surrounded by the little creatures, they're forced to flee from one massive spider. And there's like hundreds of medium-sized spiders. Now they run through the caves and Mando starts shooting and shooting. And Mando turns around and uses like three grenade like devices to bring down one of the large ones now he uses the flamethrower in his suit and mando and the group narrowly escape being surrounded and they make it back to the razor crest where he tries to seal them off in the cockpit now a few of the spiders break through and try to attack yoda and the frog lady uses a smaller blaster to rescue it and mando uses his flamethrower again to kill a good amount of spiders so he can close and lock the door now they try to hurry up and get away and start the ship and this is like a last ditch effort to escape the creatures and Mando attempts to take off but he's stopped by another large spider that lands on top of the ship and it pierces through the windshield with its legs. Now as it attempts to break through with its mouth the creature is suddenly gunned down by an unknown presence. We have no idea who's shooting at these creatures. 
and it's revealed to be those two ships earlier in the episode that was chasing Mando. Apparently, they ran the Razor Crest history through their system, you know, Mando's ship, and they found out he has an arrest warrant for the abduction of a prisoner. But since he also helped turn over three wanted criminals and put his life on the line to save Lieutenant Davon, the New Republic Correctional Corps, they agree to have him take on the bounties of the three in exchange for his freedom, leaving Mando to have to fix both his transponder and his ship. Now, without the help of these two ships, Mando tries to get his ship out of that cavern. You know, it still has a hole in it, so he fixes up the cockpit to keep them safe during the trip. And they must all stay in the cockpit during the trip. As Mando and the frog lady fall asleep with the ship heading slowly to their destination, we see Yoda at some point has snagged one final egg to eat. And that's the end of the episode. Yoda was getting into everything in this episode. This little kid, or I shouldn't even say kid because Yoda's like 50 years old. You know what I mean? But this little brat was just causing nothing but problems in this episode. You know, Yoda is so cute. But man, Yoda needs to learn to keep his hands to himself. I just started cracking up the entire episode because he just kept getting into things. But this episode was solid for sure. I thought the first episode was better. I can't wait for the third one. I wish they would release trailers for each episode this season. You know, they never do that for Disney+. Plus. We just gotta wait and see what the next episode is. But I can't wait for the next one, man. What did you guys think of this second episode? Comment your thoughts down below in the comment section. Comment your theories, thoughts, predictions, and everything else down below. Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all the Mandalorian content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. It definitely helps the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.